everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me. Today I have a beautiful floral project to share with you featuring the hydrangea petal dyes. And what I did is what I always do. I do a little Google search to just get my mojo a flowing. And I found this gorgeous multicolored hydrangea uh, photo here and I thought I got to try to do something similar to this if I can So I pulled out some similar colors with my Simon's stamp inks I loved how that purple part of the hydrangea has that blue in the center of it So I wanted to try to do that if I could so I've got blue jay and then can you believe this one? This is the kicker Simon has a hydrangea ink of all the things. So of course, you know, I'm going to use that one. So that's what I'm using right now is the hydrangea ink and it's perfect. And then I needed a little something, a little something, something. So if you're ever thinking I need a little something, something, pull out hot mama. I'm telling you that it's a win-win every time. Anytime I don't know what to do and I add a little hot mama, it's like that is exactly the missing ingredient. So as you can see, before I started my blending, I die cut several of these hydrangea petals. I wasn't sure how many I would need. I wasn't sure how many I would botch up until I found the right color combination. So uh, I'm glad I die cut a bunch of these because uh, it took me a while till I got in the in the flow of it. You can see here, so I basically I use Blue Jay, Hydrangea, and Hot Mama. And I don't want them to all be perfect. I want variation. Okay, so off camera, I went ahead and blended several more of the blue purpley petals, and now I'm moving on to the pinks. I wanted to try, if I could, make it gradient. I'm not sure in that photo, you know, the purpley pink, if those are two different flowers, or if that's one flower that just miraculously had the two different colors in it. Either way, it's gorgeous, and I love it, and that's what I'm trying to copy. So here I did a little melon in the center, a little dull pink around the edges, and then tie it all together. Hot Mama. So Hot Mama is our consistent color. Okay, so now we need to add a few leaves to our hydrangea bouquet. So I pulled out the Tropical Leaves die set. This is a new die set. It actually does have a stamp set that you can coordinate with it, but I didn't want to stamp the leaves because the hydrangeas are not stamped. They're ink blended. So I just use the die cuts as is. And I'm not technically sure if this is what hydrangea leaves look, look like, but we're just going to go with it. Okay, so let's just go with it. And I'm using some jelly bean and some lucky ink and blending these. Just I blended them all loosely with jelly bean and then added a little lucky for some accents on the center. And now we're going to begin assembling our bouquet. So I'm using some Tombow Mono Adhesive. The reason I like this one is because I can slide it around a little bit to give it, you know, I wasn't sure how my bouquet was going to come together and I needed to have a little bit of play time if I need to shift and move those petals around. So I'm just going for it. I am just adhering these one on top of another until I'm happy. And it turns out okay. And then I'll slide a few leaves in here or there. Now I wanted, after I had this all assembled, something that would really draw your eye into this, something that would give it kind of a frame or a focal. So what I did is I took the nested circle dies. I believe this is the four inch circle I'm using here. And I have a panel of cream off cardstock. I put it underneath and I place my card base over top. I'm trying to know exactly where I want to die cut that circle opening so that it will fit right around the hydrangea bouquet. And I'll hold that down with a little post-it tape, take it off camera, die cut it with my big shot and bada boom, bada bing. We got a beautiful window frame opening that just kind of draws your eye in towards that floral bouquet. And I will say this, that the cream off is a gorgeous, subtle contrast to the Nina Solar White card base. Something about the cream and the white is beautiful and I love it. It's clean and modern. And then for the sentiment, I die cut four of those painted hugs. I stacked them up with my Tombow Mono Adhesive. Now, normally when I'm stacking up, uh, you know, sentiments like this that are intricate to glue together, I usually use my spray adhesive. But this time around, I didn't have a box next to me. And you know, you got to have a box or something to spray it or spray it outside so you don't get spray adhesive all over the place. And I was just too stinking lazy to find a box to do it. It was one of those days. You ever have one of those days or like one of those years or one of those lifetimes of just not wanting to exert energy? That's me. Anybody else out there feeling really lazy? 
I'm right there with you. Us lazy crafters, we need to stick together. Okay, so this card's just about finished. I added a coordinating sentiment from Best Tugs. I also added a few of those crystal reflection sequins by Simon's Stamp. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.